Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a sport helping people stay in shape, but it's also being used to keep women around Kern County safe from violent attacks. As 23 ABC's Carlos Correa reports, the techniques may look easy, but they can also pack a real punch. Jiu-Jitsu world champion instructor Jill Baker is teaching girls how to stay alive. We decided we wanted to do something to just promote a zero tolerance. From the Bakersfield Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gym, Baker shows females how sexual assault can be prevented. We're learning um, confidence. We're, we're learning how to defend ourselves in um, situations that might be uncomfortable for women in general. Instructors team the girls up in pairs, demonstrating the skills to successfully defend against a bigger, stronger assailant by using leverage and proper technique. Instructors say each move is critical and easy to learn, and the best part is it can help victims out of any sticky situation. If all young girls um, could take something like this as they're still young and before too much of the, the social influences take over and about body image and all that kind of stuff, I think that if they start younger, um, they discover who they are sooner and they have a much greater level of awareness about themselves and confidence. The special training not only helps organizers raise funds, but also awareness for victims of sexual assault. It gives you all of the skills that you need to completely protect yourself. Um, if, if you're looking at a typical situation where a man attacks a woman, he's usually on top of her. So you can easily change positions on him. You have the ability to, if you had to armbar them, break an arm. Parents say the training helps bring them added relief knowing their children know exactly how to defend themselves. We actually put our daughter in it to make her more comfortable for that manner too. So growing up, we know that she's got the skills that it's going to take to in case she's ever put in a situation. In Bakersfield, Carlos Correa, 23 ABC.